more it's a lot less intense I think it's, it's a lot less fast paced I'm very lucky that in my role in the team I can just play that anchor role and go um, sort of at my own pace and, and through through the gears nicely and um, I thought the girls were magnificent Winnie on the weekend um, I've never seen her bat so 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 well and she was so clear in her plans and then the stage was set for Kempi to come in and do what she does best so um, I enjoy the 50 over format a lot more I think it suits my game a lot more um, but it pleased that we could put a good performance in and, and get the 300 on the board. Yeah, obviously we're going to have some new faces in the squad. We've got a fair few away on international duty, but it's a really good opportunity for us to show the depth that we've got within the squad. The girls I know are, are raring to go. There's some really good players who've had to sit on the sidelines and watch us this year. So they'll be desperate to get out there and I'm really looking forward to seeing them play as well. Yeah, absolutely. And it's great that, that these, these players are ready. They're waiting in the wings. They're ready. They're getting good cricket as well um, with the second 11 and the academy. So they're, they're, they're waiting. They're raring to go. They've been training well. And it's good to see them stepping up, um, you know, when we need them. And, and Charlotte Taylor's been had to be so patient, having had two brilliant seasons. And um, she had to be really patient through the T20 comp and then was able to come in for the last two games and has performed really well. So I'm really pleased for her. But, you know, the squad depth that we've got is, is quite ridiculous. So um, it's, it's testament to, to the setup here that we've got that. And hopefully those girls can go out there and, and show what they can do on the weekend and give them even more of a selection headache.